In this video, I'm going to give you the quick and easy solution to merge two clips together inside of Premiere Pro. Stick around. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White, and if you want to learn how to edit video like a pro, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. So inside of Premiere Pro, there are two different ways of doing this, and both of them are super easy, and I'm going to show you that you can not only combine two clips together, but you can also combine three, four, or even 20 clips together. Both methods will work if that's something that you need to do. The first way that we're going to start off by doing this is we're going to click on that first clip that we want to combine, and then we're going to hold down shift and click on that second clip that I want to combine with my first clip. This is going to merge both of those clips together. Once I've done that, I'm going to right click and I'm going to go down to nest. And what this is going to do is it's going to create a nested sequence and you can name this nested sequence if you like and just press OK. And the best way to think of what a nested sequence is, is to think of it as a container, a container that contains both of your clips. So if I want to apply one effect to that entire clip that I just, or that entire container that I just created, I can do so by just dragging something over onto the top and you can see how both clips are combined together and the effect has been applied to both. Now let's say I want to apply an effect to just one specific clip, but I don't want to get rid of that nested sequence. So the way that I can do that is I can double click on that container that contains both of those clips and then I can go inside of here and I can adjust each individual clip that is within that nested sequence. So if I want to add this teal and orange, but from my preset pack, you can do that. If you're interested in these presets, by all means, I have another video. I'm going to link that up in the description. You can check that out right after this tutorial if you like. As you can see, if I go back to my main sequence, this teal and orange effect has been applied to that one specific clip, but not to the second specific clip. The next way we can do this is by, again, starting off by selecting that first clip. And then this time I'm going to select three clips in total. So I'm going to hold down shift, click on the second clip, and then click on the third clip, continuing to hold on to shift. And then I'm going to right click and I'm going to go down to make subsequence. And then what this is going to do, I want you to go back up here to your assembly tab, right over here where it says two sub zero one sub zero one. This is the subsequence that was just created. So what I can do is I'm going to drag this over to the timeline and this is literally the exact same thing as a nested sequence. It just shows up in that project table. So from there, if I want to add an effect to the entire clip that I just created, I can throw that teal and orange LUT over top. And what it's going to do is it's going to apply that to the entire clip or that entire sequence that it's created. If I want to go inside, and edit individual clips within that sequence. I can do so by coming inside of here, clicking on effects controls and I can scale this in. And if I go back to my original, you can see it's actually scaled in and none of the other clips were affected. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.